Well, so much for Zero and Sixteen. Um, do we have to make this video? Yes. Uh, is there a purpose for making this video? Yes. Why? Why? Because I understand it's just the Browns. It's but, not, but it's, still, it's, no, it's it's not just the Browns. It's the fact that we already clinched the division. We already clinched the playoffs. What's the point? Plus, it's the Browns, but still, we still part of the regular season. Yeah, but we're gonna make the video anyway, so uh, we're not really gonna go in depth of what we should do to win this game because I'll be I'll be honest with you guys. I don't care if we win this game. I don't care if we lose this game. I honestly, it doesn't really matter. I honestly don't care about this game. I mean, Tomlin, Mike Tomlin uh, already reported today that Ben, Brown, and Bell are all out, which is smart. you got to yeah. keep your best players uh, strong and healthy for the playoffs. Exactly. And uh, honestly... Yeah, I, I'm just saying, even with our backers, we can beat the Browns. Yeah, if our A back- college football team could beat the Browns. A high school football team? No, I'm sorry. A little league team can beat the Browns. But here's what I don't get, all right? Chargers, how do... How... How? How do you lose to a 0 and 14 Browns and give them their first and possibly, and most likely, only win of the season? But yet you defeat the reigning Super Bowl champion, the Denver Broncos. That doesn't make sense. You know what? To me. Honestly, I think that, in my opinion, they did it on purpose. They thought, we're already out of the playoffs. Our season's already done. There's no freaking purpose for winning this game. Let's get an early draft pick and let's. Let's give an early Christmas present to the Browns. And that's exactly what they did. I think that's what they, I think that was their purpose. I mean, but here's why I don't get because uh, yesterday Buffalo Bills fired Rex Ryan and his uh, twin brother Rob Ryan. I guess the two Buffaloes are finally out of Buffalo. Ah, but, but but I mean, every head coach of a, every a f- football team, you know, busts their ass, you know, to stay on the team, try to make them the best team in the NFL. Yeah. But here's why I don't get. Rex Ryan tried so hard to help the Bills get yeah. into the playoffs. Yeah. Mike McCoy loses to a team that's undefeated at losing. Basically defeated. Yeah. And he's still hired. Like I said, it was probably their plan. Possibly, I don't know, but I kind of don't really get it. Yeah, but enough of the Browns. You know, they're, they're the Browns. The Browns are, will be the Browns, and they will continue to be the Browns. But uh, let's go on to the Steelers. Like we already said, Ben, Brown, and Bell are out, which I completely agree with. And uh, I honestly think Pouncey should be out as well. He was a definite uh, consideration to be out by Tomlin. I think he should be out because we don't want to risk any injury of Pouncey. We already know his uh, history with injuries. Yeah, true. So, it would be very unfortunate if he gets injured in his final game and we have to start a backup, probably B.J. Finney, who honestly isn't bad. He is he's not, not he's bad. He's not really bad. He stepped in a lot in this season. He's done really good uh-huh. for undrafted free, uh, undrafted free agent. You know, he's done pretty good. I know Andrew Jones is most likely going to get the start. Although so. I think Zach Mettenberger should get the start because we already know Andrew Jones is out of Pittsburgh. He fucking sucks. There's no way he's going to stay on this team. And for, for some reason, he could, he could we would sign him next season. Or after the season, why? So I say start Zach Menberger. Let's see how he does. And possibly he can be the uh, backup or uh, continue to be third trigger next season. I don't know. Poss- but... Possibly. So I say start Zach Menberger, although it won't happen. Uh, D'Angelo Williams will probably get the start. Oh, yeah, definitely, since he's our backup. But honestly, say sit him as well and start uh, Fitzgerald's song. True, true, yeah. Because D'Angelo Williams is obviously a really good backup. I mean, he's proved it. Over the past two seasons. So, I don't want to risk injury with him, especially since he's been dealing with injuries all season. Yeah. Don't want to risk injury with him. Uh, the receivers, I mean, Antonio Brown's going to be out, so we're going to have Coach, Rodgers, Ro- yeah, Rodgers, uh, Ayers. Yeah. Ayers. Uh, if Wheaton's going to play. Hamilton. Which he probably, no, he's not going to play. That's right. He went on IR. Yeah. Uh, so, Sammy Coates, Eli Rodgers, Kobe Hamilton, Demarcus Ayers, and Darius Harry Bay will all start. Or not start, but play at receiver, obviously. Yeah. And Jesse James will probably start again. I'm not sure what the update is on Darius Green. I think Green. it's smart to keep Green out, though, because he's a pretty good tight end. And, you know, we don't want to risk any other further injury on him as well. Exactly. Because he's always had history with concussions. 
Mm-hmm. Don't want don't want to risk any further injury to him or cause him to have another concussion. Yeah. So it's smart to stay keep him out and have him come back against the playoffs. Yeah. And for the offensive line, I say for the people starting with probably every uh, uh starting lineman of, of that offensive line, I honestly say have them do one or two p- offensive possessions and then sit in the rest of the game. Uh, at Get, least have them, you know, you know, still say like warm, you know, still say uh uh, 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 what's the term I'm looking for? Still set, still stay active, you mm-hmm. know, all that stuff. And defense, you know, uh, you it's, know. it's Brown's offense. You got to do something. Yeah. Uh, Sean Davis will probably start. Mitchell will start. Burns will obviously start, which I completely agree with. Have him start, you know, ha- have him prove himself more. Yeah. Uh, I honestly say start Justin Gilbert. I mean, I, I'm not liking the way Cockle's playing, though. He's giving up too many he, plays. Yeah, big dude, games. I freaking... Like while Justin Gibber was a former early first round pick, him remember back in two thousand twelve, I think it was. No, two thousand fourteen. Was? Two thousand fourteen. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, duh. But uh, you know, you just you see if you see if he's worth it. Yeah, so uh 'cause I'm tired of giving up these draft picks even though you know these draft picks don't really matter. Yeah. Although well, they, they, can, can, they, be, can, they can they can they can be big guys. But you know, they were just training picks for debt when we should tr- actually try to use them, see if they can be yeah, worth exactly, something. Exactly, because I don't understand why Tomlin Trades for a corner just for depth. I mean, look at Brandon Borkin. He did great with Philly. He, we could have used him for something. Yeah, and Justin, T- I'm sorry, Justin, T- Justin Gilbert was a former first round pick for a reason. Let him prove himself. Let him show that he can remain on this team for next year. And possibly replace Cockrell and Gay. Possibly. You know, I say start him. Won't happen, but I do expect him to. I do expect to see him though. Although it probably won't happen, but uh. Yeah, so, uh, that's basically it. <laughs> it's the Browns. Most, I, I'm pretty sure most of our stars are gonna be sitting. Yeah. Gotta stay healthy for the playoffs. Yeah. Exactly. But you know, Steelers. I don't really care if we want to lose because yeah, we're already I don't in the care playoffs. Because, I mean, but but you know, it'd be cool to win. It doesn't matter. This game doesn't matter. This game does not matter. Well, maybe the Browns fans. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the Browns fans, but this game does not matter to the Steelers. It doesn't matter if we lose. It doesn't matter if we win. We'll remain the third seed. We'll still be in the playoffs. We'll still win the division. I would like us to win, but don't really care. I honestly think we will win, though. Because it's Cleveland. Yeah, and Cleveland wants that first overall pick, which they will obviously get. Yeah. So, uh, that's basically the video. Uh, I am actually going to watch this game, you know, just because there's nothing else well, on. Well, I'm just going to watch this game. Yeah, because there's nothing else on. But, uh, yeah, going to watch this game. Uh. Yeah, this game doesn't matter. But uh, I, don't, I, you want to say anything? Cause I don't know. What to say. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace.